Welcome to a quick Great Card Basic demonstration. This is of a 3-axis computer called the HMC 5883L. Um, and it's a little driver we built for a Great Card Basic. Let's have a look, um, let's have a look what it's doing. Um, in actual fact, you might not be able to see this, so I'll just slow it down. This is the um, actual reading coming in from the um, device itself, X, Y, and Z. Um, I've got it actually based on the standard, it's fixed so I can rotate it. And as I rotate it, I can see I get different values, which is great. I'm rotating one axis effectively, and you can see that one axis is where I'm changing, which is the Z axis. That's because it's laying slightly on its side. If I rotate the, the stand itself, you can see the Y axis has moved. And if I shift it around, you can get different X, Y, Z values. OK, so a quick look. So what, the, what is this? It's a three axis digital computer based upon this Honeywell device. Um, communications is through a uh, I2C. Uh, we built this for hardware um, and software I2C. Um, the little package that's shown here has all its capacitors and filters on board and it's broken out into a six pin header, very simple interface. And I've driven this at five volts all the way down to um, 2.8 and it does actually work quite well. Um, it works quite well in terms of um, uh, handling of power as well. So what have we actually implemented here? We've got a series of um, commands, you need to initialize it at the top here. You've got uh, two modes. You've got a what's called continuous mode, and you've got three commands with that. You've got a start, and then you just keep reading it, and then you stop it, and um, and then you've got a single shot read X Y Z, and you've also got a function, which is actually get the date ready, and get data ready is really um, it's a function to say whether it's actually completed a read operation, and during all these continuous and these other read X Y Z. That uh, that's been that function's been called and tested to make sure that there's data actually on the on the device. There are some other um, that you can actually um, you can set what's called configuration A and B. And you can get the configuration, and you also can get the, st the status of the device. As I said earlier, it supports um, software I2C and hardware I2C on the PIC and on the AVR. So let's look at very quick look at the circuit. So it's relatively simple. There's a connector on here. You need to connect 5 volts uh, or 3.3 at ground. It comes with um, onboard uh, pull-ups. Um, I've actually um, got this on a test rig here with uh, other pull-ups as well. So and it's working very effectively. But this interface here, J1, is what you need to be bothered about, and it works extremely well. So what have I got here? What I'm showing you. I'm showing I've got a microprocessor. I've actually got a um, 16F. I've got the compass attached there through the three, effectively the cables of the um, uh, the, uh, in, the the data, there's the clock, and this interrupt line. And I've got a serial ter terminal attached to it, and that's all I've got really um, to show. Um, but this is operating. I'm going to reset it. I have it hooked up to my pick kit. Um, I'm going to get 3.3 volts. Um, if I actually reset that. This is what's called continuous mode, and in this demonstration, I've actually just given back the raw values. These are the raw values, and these are in 16-bit um, uh, two's complement. And uh, in the demonstration program, I'm flipping those into real values for you. So if I and you can see it's in continuous mode, and continuous mode just uh, is faster to read. I'll uh, let that run. There's a hundred of those, and it flips into the other mode, which is the single mode. As you can see there, it says it's a single mode, and this is it actually just waits on the uh, into, uh, on the uh, checks the the, the uh, status for the port. I'll rotate that lot. There we go, and um, sets, uh, checks the status of the port to ensure that's um, a, a valid read. So let's look at the code. In the code, uh, this is the demonstration code. You need to take your standard chip, obviously. And then you need to include um, the this HMC file um, five five uh, five eight eight three L, 
and then you need to specify um, just to make it work you need to specify the um, hardware I2C configurations which must consider which must have the following it must have a baud rate 100 or 400 is permitted you can you must specify the data port and they must be set to in for pick and then you must specify the if it's a master if it's um, software I've actually included the software settings are very similar you must tell it it's master mode and just specify the ports and you just and you should disable interrupts if you've got other code running and that's it for setup relatively simple um, I've left both in those um, to make it work you need to include the you need to initialize the device that's not done automatically um, so you need to init that device um, and then you need to set it into these different modes you so you can set it into continuous um, read mode and then you simply just do a continuous read you get the you get the um, you call the method it's got three parameters which is um, they must be words and those words have been previously defined in this code and then I'm printing it on the screen finally when I've done my hundred uh, repeats I'm then stopping that continuous read it's just a it's good to have, you don't need to call it but you should call it and be very good and then after that you can just do what's called a read XYZ that XYZ takes the same um, three parameters of um, X Y and Z and uh, presents that back in, in in those variables which you can actually um, then do something with and what I've done I've done a two's complement so uh, they, they, they can store uh, negative and positive values clearly a 16-bit value is only positive but two complement allows us to do that and that's the end of the program so um, if we have a quick look at that the demonstration that was running I'll uh, stop that and you can see that uh, I've got this continuous mode like I said before then after a hundred runs of that it goes into single shot mode so what's going on in the background is actually quite interesting the um, the device itself has a, an, uh, has a um, data ready port you can check that out with an interrupt or you can actually call that with this method I spoke about earlier on which is called we'll have a look at what it was called it was called get data ready and that returns a zero or one and that um, effectively um, allows you to ensure that the data is ready and also that matches up with this data line coming out called data ready line and I've got a um, show you a picture here I've got a picture here of my scope you can see that that's the line it that means data is ready on a, on a one when it's high when it's low this you mustn't get any data because it's actually loading in all the bits at that particular point so you just need to check that that's set to one which you do in the code sort it already done and then move on as it goes higher again um, but essentially um, that's it um, it's relatively simple to um, operate um, that's the um, three axis compass it's the um, HMC 5883L um, and it's October I'll call that a wrap